Hi everyone, my name's Maria and welcome. I'm super excited for my first video and I'm gonna get right into it. I am painting this door. It needs it. It needs some love. It needs some revitalization, <laughs> uh, don't we all? So I'm getting right at it. I cleaned this entire inside of the door, wiped it down with crud cutter and boy does it cut the crud. It got rid of all the dirt, all the sticky fingers, even adhesive from a door lock that I never fully, um, a baby door lock um, that went over the handle that never got fully removed. It took it right off. Uh, it's great. So now I'm doing the good old painter's tape, not fun part. Um, time consuming for sure, but it needs to be done and going all around the entire uh, frame of the door and all the windows. Now I'm getting at it. I am painting this door in a Sherwin-Williams. The color is tricorn black. I love it. I love the color. I'm very happy that I decided to go with it. Um, I was thinking of doing a different brand uh, paint, but when I was at Lowe's and I saw this, I remembered seeing it on Pinterest and it's just perfect. So I'm just doing a first coat here, getting all the little nooks and crannies, getting in the corners, getting in the molding, and now I am peeling off that painter's tape after three coats. This inside door um, took three coats, inside and outside, both took three coats. But the inside is Sherwin-Williams Tricorn Black. Love it, love it, love it. Very happy with the paint, smooth finish. Love the black, it's not too stark. Just the right color, and I'm excited to use it in other places in my house. And I'm gonna show you the uh, the name and the brand and I couldn't be happier with it and now I am replacing not replacing I'm not replacing any of the hardware I am reusing everything I have I, I'm happy with the look of it I just didn't like the gold so I'm spraying it in that rust-oleum black and love it just used an old cardboard box to situate everything and now we're outside and I'm starting by sanding the outside. Took a little more effort, a little more time, but I it was well worth it. I had to get some of that chipped off white paint, just using that sandpaper to really get down into the grooves and get all that loose paint. Just wanted a nice smooth finish for the outside, which was also painted black, but an indoor-outdoor paint that um, was more durable for outside. and. Again, using that crud cutter, a microfiber cloth, getting all that dirt and grime off that door. And now this is the first coat, painter's tape, first coat on. And this uh, did three coats inside, three coats outside as well. And this is it after the third coat. Beautiful, smooth. And for the outside paint, I did use a satin for a little bit of a glossier finish. And on the inside, I did use a flat. I wanted a matte finish with no gloss in there and I think it turned out great. Couldn't have asked for a nicer finish on these. And then I am now inside to do the 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 outside of the front door. My 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 hubby put a our new screen door on the the night prior. So now I'm able to do this inside without any buggers getting in the house. And there's our Sheba -do Doodle Ellie hanging out having some uh, quality time with mom. And we are painting, getting all the nooks and crannies. And this again is that out outdoor paint, uh, you know, a little more durable. And I'm getting in there with the brush, getting nooks and crannies. I used the roller for this part of the, the, for the flat part. And I used a paintbrush to get in the nooks and crannies of the door. And I am doing three coats here as well, just for a nice finish, taking that painter's tape off of the kick, the original kick plate that I am going to leave on because I think it goes well with the black. And now it's cleanup time and now I get to put out my new carpet. I got an outdoor, indoor outdoor carpet for this front door because I can never seem to keep any carpet there clean or um, in its place which is why I got this new carpet um, liner to go under it so that it doesn't budge. Uh, Ellie, our sheep doodle likes to do laps around the house and usually our carpets go flying everywhere and it's been holding up really well. And now I'm washing the windows, a little glass cleaner, getting those nice and shined up because we are done with the painting. And 
I get to decorate. We have a very um, small entryway, so I'm just putting a little plant stand that I've had for a few months now with no plants on it <laughs> in preparation for this little, little redo. And I'm sticking it here in this little narrow corner. And I have two really beautiful indoor house plants that I'm putting here that I think will just get the right amount of light with the door being open most of the time and the side light shining through. And Ellie's loving it. She's loving the new carpet. She's loving looking out the window. And I just, yeah, she's she's chilling out. She she's really enjoy she's really enjoying the space. So I'm super happy with how it came out. I hope you guys are inspired to do projects like this on your own. Uh, I think it could be a daunting task, but if you have a little bit of time, a little bit of energy, and not a lot of money, you can transform a space. This was definitely a budget-friendly project that was a big bang for the buck, for sure. There's those knobs. I love the way the, the Rust-Oleum spray paint made them with that nice matte finish. And here's a look at the inside, and I'll get to be showing you the outside. Super excited for it and how it turned out. Thank you so much for hanging around. Hope you will stick around and subscribe. Lots going on, lots to do, lots of mom life, DIY, fun stuff coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Here's a little screen, uh, a little screen action <laughs> from our new storm door. And I'm going to leave you with um, what I thought was a super appropriate quote um, for this video and for life. Thanks so much for hanging out. Bye.